Carlson's exclusive 12-year unlimited miles powertrain warranty. Included with purchase on every new in-stock Honda you buy. Clawson is Honda. You're watching KMPH Fox 26. Should condoms be handed out at the junior senior prom? Some parents say no. I think it's something that I should be talking to him about. I'm Eric Rosales, who's behind the campaign, coming up. Why would anybody take something that precious? It's very precious to us, to the church. Thieves break through a stained glass window into a Catholic church and steal a one-of-a-kind cross that's been sitting here for more than 56 years. I'm Nicole Garcia. I'll have the message the pastor has for the community and for the people who did this. The CHP on high alert tonight after a gunman opens fire on one of their own. I'm Ashley Ritchie. How officers here in Fresno are taking extra precautions tonight coming up. Somebody somewhere knows something about this. And Those stories plus the new type of underwear bomb terrorists were plotting to use on the 10 o'clock news now. You're watching KMPH Fox 26. And now, the Valley's number one prime time newscast, the KMPH 10 o'clock news. They should be promoting like abstinence at the same time, but like, I mean, it'd be better to like have that than like have like a billion like pregnant girls. Yes. South Valley students and parents sound off after a nonprofit group hands out hundreds of condoms to students after the junior senior prom in Visalia. Good evening, I'm Anna Laurel. And I'm Monty Torres. Thank you for joining us. It's a move that has parents angry and questioning what can be done about it. The school district says its hands are tied. Tonight, KMPH News reporter Eric Rosales spoke with a nonprofit group known as Act for Women and Girls. He has more on why they say they plan to continue to hand out condoms at proms. It's a story you're seeing only on KMPH News. Eric. This past weekend, some 2,000 kids with the Visalia Unified School District filled the Visalia Convention Center for their junior senior prom. But what has many parents angry is when their kids left the prom, members of the nonprofit organization known as Act for Women and Children handed out these packets. Part of a campaign called Don't Let Your Hot Date Turn Into a Due Date, a packet that contained condoms. It's like advertising sex, basically and saying that it's okay to just go like have fun. <laughs> oh, I really don't think that's the right place for, for that type of uh, thing to be conducted. I, I think that that's it's completely wrong. Parents of Icelia Unified students can't believe it and neither can some students. They put them on a stick like lollipops and it was almost like they were implying that it was okay and that you're gonna do it anyways, so might as well just happy birthday. We give it to people who want them and only who want them. Act for Women and Girls Youth Program intern says teen pregnancy is a major problem in Tulare County and it needs to be addressed. Realistically what we're saying is if you're having sex we want you to make healthy choices because we don't want you to get STDs. We don't want you to have, get pregnant or have unplanned pregnancies. One time teen dad Julian Rubio agrees with the campaign. And I do think it's right and it's needed especially here in Tulare County. Highest teenage pregnancy. Visalia Unified officials say as long as the group stays on public property there is nothing the school district can do. But as far as, as their actions at our prom, we really had no control over that and did not know what was going on. By the way, condoms aren't the only thing inside the packet that is passed out to students. Act for Women and Children volunteers say so are a number of other resources like suicide prevention and rape crisis numbers and information. Monty volunteers say it's all about empowering students with information that will keep them safe. Eric, does that group say they're going to only confine their activities down to the South Valley or they're going to go everywhere? As of right now, they're based out of Icelia and yes, they are going to continue on uh, only, uh, only sticking with the South Valley areas right now. All right, thanks, Eric. Act for Women and Children or Act for Women and Girls have been passing out condoms for the, the, since 1994, they say. Volunteers say they are trained to talk with teens and will continue their program of passing out condoms for years to come. One of the oldest, most treasured possessions at the Shrine of St. Therese Catholic Church is gone. Thieves hit the house of worship and took off with an irreplaceable holy relic. KMPH News anchor Nicole Garcia shows us why the pastor believes the crook may be someone who's prayed in that very church before. The thieves broke into a back room in the back of the sanctuary through a stained glass window. And as you 